On day one, I spawned in as Deadpool. Sweet! I also have regeneration powers. I was gonna need them because just then, Thanos appeared before me. You. Me? You stole my woman. Now I'm gonna collect the Infinity Stones and kill you in 100 days. Well, if you do that, then I'll be with death. Seems like a win-win. Then I'll be sure your soul goes out of existence. Oh no. I began fighting Thanos, unleashing everything I had on him. Eat lead, Barney. Unfortunately, Thanos was bulletproof, and my guns didn't do any damage. <laughs> that tickles. <laughs> But help was on the way. We've got this. Doctor Strange and some other Avengers came to aid me in the battle. <laughs> you think a few weaklings and spandex can save you? Thanos then made quick work of the Avengers, leaving only me. You may be bulletproof, but are you katana proof? I ran up and sliced Thanos into pieces, ultimately killing him. Yes, I did it on day one. What else could possibly happen for the rest of the 99 days? Bronzo! Ah! Hey, what gives? Idiot, that was a clone I made to trap you. And those Avengers were also my clones. <laughs> so I didn't stop Thanos? You really think it would have been that easy? Well, I thought it was a challenge. I'm gonna destroy all non-mutant and non-superpowered beings. Anyone who tries to get in my way will die. That's not very 2022 of you. <laughs> Good luck trying to stop me without a body. Get back here! Oh, never mind. He already told me his plans. What a stereotypical villain. My body began growing back on day two. Now I had a giant head with a baby body in a diaper. Yeah, not embarrassing at all. And I only have five hearts now. Ah, oh, come on. I vowed to take down Mr. Sinister. But how? Patience. If you were watching this at home, you're just gonna have to watch until the end to find out. Anyways, I can't do this alone. I decided I needed to form a team. But first, I needed a super cool base of operations or no one would take my baby self seriously. I got started right away, collecting wood and stone for a full stone set, but minus a sword. Who needs stone swords when I have super cool katanas? Hiya! Oh, oops! Uh, sorry, random sheep. Anyways, I found a nice open field and started building a small cabin. I worked for a few hours until I was done. On day three, I went out searching for seeds. Quick, remember, don't skip to the end of the video. That's right, you gotta keep watching to find out if I'm able to take down Mr. Sinister, and more importantly, not be a baby anymore. I tried my luck to find some seeds in the grass. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. With the seeds I obtained, I decided to make a farm. I planted the seeds and watched it for a few seconds. Why aren't they growing? How does this game work? Ah, tartar sauce. Wait, I can't say bad words. Curse you, YouTube! Okay, I need to figure out how to form a team so that I can take down Mr. Sinister. Oh, I know the perfect person! Cue the narration! I made my way to the tundra and came across two supervillains having a chat. Gasp! That's Blockbuster and Malice. They're part of Mr. Sinister's Marauders, a group of mutant assassins who do evil things. At least that's what Wiki says. Don't judge me. Everything's going to plan. Soon this planet will be rid of humans and be ours. You mean it'll be Mr. Sinister's. Whatever. His victories are ours. <laughs> this dude looks so funny in that leotard. Huh? Who said that? Here was the red baby. Get him. This is the part where I run away. Help me! Get back here. It was day four, and I was still being chased by Blockbuster. Although this guy's big, he sure has lots of stamina. I gotta think fast if I want to get away. Thinking quick on my feet, I noticed a small crevice in a hillside and ducked into it. I fit perfectly, but Blockbuster was too big. <laughs> You're too fat. I mean, big. I, I mean, too muscular to fit in here. You think that's gonna stop me? He started smashing all the blocks around me, getting closer and closer. Sir. Uh oh! Just then, Wolverine landed behind him, all dramatic like. 
Hey, pick on someone your own size, Baba. I watched as they started fighting. Dang, I wish Minecraft had popcorn right now. This is entertaining. Wolverine used his claws to strike and slash, while Blockbuster used his strength and threw heavy blows with his giant fists. After a while of watching, I decided maybe I should help, mostly because I was starting to get bored. So I ran out and shot Blockbuster in the back of his head, knocking him out. Whew, that was a tough one. Here, want to talk? You barely helped. Whatever. I was looking for you, actually. I watched the 100 Days as Venom video and saw you helped Venom out. So I was hoping you'd do the same for me. What are you talking about? Uh, never mind. Look, I need help bringing down Mr. Sinister. He's trying to take over this world or something like that. What do I have to do with your problem, Baba? Oh, no, it's not my problem. It's our problem. Wolverine obviously wasn't listening and started watching away. Hey, where are you going? What about this guy? Are we just gonna leave him? Hey, wait up! During days five to six, I followed Wolverine back to his place. Look, kid. I'm not a kid. I'm not the best one to help you, but I can guide you to a few of my friends who maybe can. Ooh, is it Professor X? No. What makes you think I would get the professor involved with your small little problem? Anyways, I was talking about Captain America. You can find him in the big city. Okay, can you at least aid me in some kind of way? Wolverine then walked over to a chest and came back with some goods. Here's some food and some iron tools. Do what you can with them. Awesome! You saved me a lot of time mining. Say, can I stay here for the night? Yeah, whatever. You can stay for the night, but you better be gone by morning. Yay! Sleep over with Wolvie! First, Wolvie and I jumped on the bed, and it was awesome! Then, Wolvie read me a bedtime story. Then, I read Wolvie a bedtime story. And then... No, we're not doing any of those things. Follow me. This is the room. It's all yours. Do me a favor and don't poop in your pants while you sleep, would ya? No. No promises. Night, night. I found myself in a dream at the start of days seven through eight. I'm dreaming about my past, aren't I? I was lying on a table and could see Dr. Kilbrew doing experiments on me. He was using a knife. No need to worry. It'll all be over soon. Suddenly, I turned from Bronzo into Deadpool. It was super freaky, and I ended up jolting from my sleep in panic. Huh, that was no fun. Oh, I feel weird. I realized that I'd grown into a teenager overnight. Heck yeah. I have eight hearts now too. Awesome. Congrats. You need to leave still. What? But I had a nightmare. I'm going to need at least 93 more days to recover. Leave. Mm, okay. I sadly left and made it back to the base. I know what'll make me feel better. An arts and craft project. I decided to make an incredibly handsome Deadpool statue. I went and collected red flowers and slaughtered some squid for ink. It's okay, viewer. Those squid volunteered themselves for the greater good. I then gathered sheep and dyed them, sheared them, bred them, blah, 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 you know the drill. After that, I made the legs for my amazing statue. It's gonna look amazing. Watch to the end to see it finished. And no skipping, you cheaters. From days nine through 10, I made it to the big city. Cap, where are you? As I was looking for Cap, I came across a park and got distracted. After playing for so long, day turned into night. Woo, that was fun. Oh man, I lost track of time. Totally worth it though. Suddenly, there was a mysterious voice behind me. Well, 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 look what we have here. I turned around and it was, huh? Who the heck are you? What do you mean? I'm Scalp Hunter. How do you not know me? Why doesn't anyone know me? Hold on just a second. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. Oh! Wow! I see. You're a bad, bad guy. Yeah. Let me show you what I'm capable of. The freak began blasting at me with his guns. I had no choice but to try and get up close. hey -ya. Huh. Yeah. Huh. Eventually, after lots of punching, I was able to best him and knock him out. You're lucky I can't kill you because we have to stay PG. Ooh, guns. I decided it would be a smart idea to take Scalp Hunter's guns for myself. 
Oh, this is bad news for anyone who gets in my way. Now, what was I doing again? Oh yeah, I gotta find Captain America. I spent days 11 through 13 searching for Captain America. After looking in multiple places, I finally found him, just chilling in a park. Cap, I've been looking all over for you. The captain didn't seem interested in me or what I said at all. Cap, I need your help. I'm forming a team to take down Mr. Sinister and the Marauders. You know, there's so much more to life than fighting. I mean, just think about sunsets. Steve about Rogers went on an entire rant family. about life about and fighting and, and something friends. about love and blah, blah, blah. Ah, uh, boring. Oh, I have an idea. I used the power of fast forwarding. So you guys, and more importantly myself, wouldn't have to suffer through Captain America's rant. Right, right. Totally caught all of that. So can you help me or- Are you not listening? I'm retired now. I'm sorry, but I can't help. I wish you luck. I laughed and was trying to figure out someone else to help me when suddenly a large Terminator ball appeared in front of me. Uh, was this in the budget? No, it was not. We'll change it quick before they notice. The bubble faded away and Cable appeared in front of me. I've seen the future and it's not good. Oh no, is it because only 17.4% of viewers are subscribed? Not even, no, it's because you lose. I am here to make sure that doesn't happen. Heck yeah, it's time to get the band back together. X-Force, assemble! I returned to the base from days 14 to 17 with Cable. Well, this is it. Wait right here for a second. I wanted to impress the X-Force members, so I began adding some features to my base. Just need some torches, a few chests, and furnaces. I also began making a room for Cable. I even gave him a bed. Phew. So what do you think? Looks awesome. When did you have time to make this? Don't worry about it. I did some building off screen. Huh? Don't think about it too hard. Hey, do me a solid and help me build this statue of me. It's really important for the sake of the future and all that. Uh, whatever, let's do it. My buddy Cable here actually started helping me build the torso of my statue. We mostly just used red and black wool. And with that, it was really starting to look good. That's a masterpiece, wouldn't you say? Don't answer. Of course it is. It's me. Hey, can you watch the base while I gather some precious materials? Sure. And so I went off mining and guess what? I found diamonds. Enough for me to make diamond tools, such as an ax, pickaxe, shovel, and a hoe. All right, let's get out of here. After a while, I was still in the cave and couldn't find the exit. How do I get out of here? I guess I should keep going. On days 18 through 21, I finally found my way out of the cave. Outside the exit was a building that looked like some sort of evil headquarters. Hmm, what could this be? Suddenly I saw Mr. Sinister outside the base with a mysterious lady. Hey, I thought I got rid of you. Well, so did my ex-girlfriend, but I still bother her all the time. Hey, who's that lovely lady there next to you? Oh, this is Vertigo. She's going to take good care of you. Like in a good way or a bad way? Just then, she charged at me. Ah, bad way, bad way. She was so agile and fast that she started making me really dizzy. Does this mean there's no chance you'll go on a date with me? What is wrong with you? So you're saying there's a chance. I was so dizzy, I fell to the ground. Whoa, talk about vertigo. The last thing I saw was vertigo standing over me. Then everything went black. On days 22 through 25, I had another vision. I was Bronzo, not Wade Wilson. And I saw myself in some kind of glass containment receptacle. Ah! And that's how I became Deadpool. Wait showed you this. But to be honest, it's not really that important to the story. So I'm just gonna dream about cool stuff instead. Woohoo! Blowing up buildings is so much fun! <laughs> Wait, how did I get here? I found you in the woods unconscious. I guess I was just lucky to find you when I did. Having the luck enchantment doesn't count as a superpower. What? Yeah, I don't know what that means. Whatever. It's time for me to grow full size again. Regeneration powers, activate! Here! 
With that, I grew back into an adult with 10 hearts. Nice. Now it's time to get to business and recruit the rest of the X-Force. On days 26 through 29, I went to ask Cable and Domino if they knew where Psylocke might be. I have no idea. I haven't seen Psylocke in forever. I can always tag along. Maybe with my luck, we'll be able to find her. Luck is always nice to have, even if it's not a superpower. Plus, having some extra company would be useful. I think I might know where Psylocke could be. I asked her how she could be so sure. Lucky guess? Follow me. I followed Domino into a swamp. And, to be honest, I wasn't feeling the luck. Okay, but seriously, are you sure you know where you're going? I'm just following my intuition. Not to be mean, but your intuition just got us into a hot mess. Look! Up ahead were Harpoon and Sabretooth. They had some guy held hostage. Somebody, please! We have to help him. He's so plain and inoffensive, like Ryan Reynolds in Free Guy. He's like the human equivalent of an empty room painted eggshell. He's like... Deadpool. Right. Hey, cat. Man, why don't you just stop what you're doing and let that tub of vanilla ice cream go, eh? <laughs> you think you can stop us? You're just a little boy in a suit running around with your mommy. Oh, no, I, I think you're a little confused. I'm not his mother. But I wish she was. What? I think she said something else, but I couldn't hear it. I'd already started fighting. Just sit still and let me tear you to shreds. Now, how do you expect me to do that when you look like you've never sat still in a dentist? Dentist office. Ah! You can't keep this up forever. All it will take is one lucky shot and you're done for. I couldn't pay too much attention, but I saw the tail end of the fight where Domino finished off Harpoon with a devastating punch. Nice. Sabretooth had sucker punched me, knocking me out. But he looked like he was trying to leave. I don't like my odds right now, but I will be back, Deadpool, and I will have my revenge. As Sabretooth escaped to lick his wounds, the hostage guy thanked me for saving him and told us his name was Bob. Bob. Well, Bob, what kind of powers or special abilities do you have? We could use someone like you on the X-Force. No, sir. I don't have any powers or training. Sorry. Uh, are you sure about this? I like him. Let's get him back to HQ. Oh, so you don't believe luck is a superpower, but you take Bob? He's gonna get himself killed. Don't listen to the haters, sugar bear. I think you've got Moxie, kid. Really? Thank you, Mr. Pool. And we all walked off into the sunset. X-Force! On days 30 through 33, we made it back. Cable came up to see how things went. Hey, did you have any luck finding Psylocke? No, but we found Bob instead. Who the heck is Bob? Some agent of Hydra, dude. But I think he could make a good friend. Oh, brother. Any other news? Well, we did fight off Harpoon and Sabretooth. They were no match. Sabretooth ran off spouting something about revenge or whatever. That's bad news. Sabretooth will come back with more backup next time. Maybe you can recruit more heroes to join us in this fight. Cool, cool. But I gotta build a room for my guy Bob here. That's how these videos work. Huh? I got to work, adding a new room for my best bud, Bob. When I was done, I took a step back and looked over my job well done. Hold on, hold on. This base is lame. I want something cooler and more X-Men themed. Luckily, my base somehow magically transformed into a new cooler one. Yahoo! That's what I'm talking about. Now that that's done, Bob! Let's go find some heroes to join us. On days 34 through 37, Bob and I traveled a long ways away, making it all the way to a jungle biome. After another couple hundred paces, Bob and I came across a camp. After a bit of scouting, we found a few bad guys. Vertigo, Sabretooth, and Psylocke? What's she doing here with them? Maybe she's just trying to be one of those double agents or something. Good call. Why don't we check it out? Soon enough, Vertigo and Sabretooth left, leaving Psylocke all alone. Now was my chance. Yo, Psylocke, I've been looking all over for you. Really? And why might that be? Uh, cause you're part of the X-Force? Why else? I'm sorry, Deadpool, but I've changed my mind. Consider this my resignation. Psylocke then lashed out at me with her psychic blades. Ow, those hurt when they hit. And give me a migraine. Bob was watching and cheering me on from a safe distance. Let's go, bud. You got this. Just shake it off, champ. I don't really know what's going on, but I dig it. Finally, I got a good hit on Psylocke. She fell to the ground and then turned into Mystique. Ah, oh, shirt. I should have seen that coming, to be honest. Come on, sugar bear. Help me carry her back inside the cave. I'll grab her arms. You grab the legs. 
Between days 38 and 41, Bob and I took Mystique to the back of her base, which had a cage already set up. I then started her day with a splash. Where is she? Where's Rachel? <coughs> Sorry about that. Got a little carried away. <sighs> when I get out of here, I'll spill your guts out like a fish and feed them to you. Rrr, kitty's got claws. All right, Misty, where's the real Psylocke, huh? Did you kill her? Imprison her here in some remote mountainside? Answer me! Pretty please with the sugar on top. Psylocke is off enjoying her vacation in the Badlands, sweetheart. Getting some much needed R&R. Badlands? That's a Minecraft biome, right? Uh... What? Anyway, thanks for the information, Smurf. I got up to leave, and she struggled to get out of her cage. What? No, you can't just leave me here! <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Bad. <laughs> Reception. <laughs> Beep. When I left the cave, Bob was waiting outside. Hey, honey bun, let's get back to the base. And do you think you can help me out with that statue? Sure thing. Bob didn't hesitate to help. With a little bit of hard work and elbow grease, we made the arms of the statue with katanas as well. Ooh, now that's what I call a masterpiece. Let's rest up, kitty cat. I think we deserve it. But it's three in the afternoon. Resting. On days 42 through 45, I woke up to Bob looking really excited. What is it? What is it, boy? Is little Timmy stuck in the well? I've got this teleportation device for you. It runs on ender pearls. Where'd you get this from? Mystique had it on her. Huh, okay. So it needs ender pearls, you say? I stayed up all night farming endermen for their pearls. Okay, time to try out this doohickey. I turned it on and teleported to a big cave with a giant beast. Uh-oh. I then teleported away to a random village. Well, I don't know, Harold. Why don't you tell me what you want to eat for once? Yikes. I tried to use the teleporter again, but it glitched and sent me to a weird floating dimension. Oh, hey, Nightcrawler. What's up? I then teleported one final time. Hey, the Badlands. This must be where Psylocke is. I searched around the Badlands until I eventually found Psylocke battling against Magneto. Ooh, this is good. This is real good. I sat down and watched the show for a while. Wait, what am I doing? I need to save her. I ran up to Psylocke and teleported her away with me back to the base. Yeah, I did it. No, Deadpool. <laughs> I was about to defeat Magneto until you ruined it. Oh, oopsie. Hey, no harm, no foul, right? What's so important that you needed to pull me out of there? I need your help taking down my main villain, Mr. Sinister. <clears throat> so, let me get this straight. You pulled me out of my battle with Magneto just to fight in your... <sighs> You're disgusting. She went into the base, and I decided it was time to take things into my own hands. On days 46 through 49, I teleported to a village, being terrorized by Mr. Sinister. Hey, hold on. Only I can terrorize villagers. Have a seat. Let me tell you a story about my origins and why I'm doing all of this. It all began when... Wait a second, guy. Listen, viewers. Be sure to watch until the end to see if I'm able to stop this clown from turning everyone into a mutant. Okay, go on. Right. As I was saying, genetics are my life's work. I used to be a scientist, but that was before, when I was weak. I began researching all kinds of ways to make humanity into the perfect race of superhumans. And finally, I did it. I began creating great ones such as Gambit, who is basically a clone of me with some Cyclops DNA. Wait, what? Look, that story is cool and all, but you're wrong. Humans are perfect the way they are, and they have the power of friendship. Is that too cheesy? Nah, you're not listening to me. I'm gonna start by turning these villagers into mutants to do my bidding. All around me, the villagers turned into mutant freaks! Good luck! <laughs> All the mutants attacked me! I had no choice but to kill them before more chaos would ensue! I busted out my weapons and began unloading on the monsters! Hey-ya! Kapow! Cha 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 cha! After all that battling, I figured Gambit may know a thing or two about Sinister. I'm out of here. Somewhere between days 50 and 53? I don't know. You figure out what day. I decided to throw away my teleportation device. Sorry, old sport. You make things too easy, and that makes for bad storytelling. I hope you understand. Now for a different plot device. I found Domino and asked her to take me to the next plot point. Uh, what makes you think I can do that? Well, you're lucky. So that way we can move the story along faster and maybe go home earlier. <sighs> 
fine. Poggers! Domino and I traveled back to the city, but once we got there, everything was quiet. Too quiet. Hmm. My Deadpool senses are tingling. They're telling me we have to be here. Just then, a giant mutant skeleton popped out and started causing havoc everywhere. Huh. Yeah, that might have been it. I'll help people escape. You keep that monster occupied. Got it? Aw, oh, come on! Why did I get the hard job? Quit your whining and just do it. So I charged toward the beast with my super awesome katanas. But the massive creature started hitting me with its giant blades, which did a lot of damage. Ow! Huh! You're a tough one, aren't ya? Hey-ya! Yeah! This fight was incredibly tough. I couldn't do it alone. Ahem, if only there was a nearby superhero who could conveniently come and aid me in this battle. Then, from the Minecraft city skyline, the web-slinging Spider-Man arrived on the scene. Need a hand? You know it. With Spider-Man's help, we were able to destroy the mutant skeleton, making it explode. Well, if it isn't my favorite neighborhood Spider-Boy. Thanks for the help back there. What's this about, Deadpool? Heck if I know, it probably has something to do with Mr. Sinister. He's been making mutants in his off time. Then Sinister has to be stopped. I asked if Spider-Man could join the X-Force, but the director told me that that wasn't in our budget. I mean, that he was already part of the Avengers. I'm sorry, Deadpool. I'll still protect this city as best I can. Hey, Deadpool, I think I've got a lead on Sinister's location. Come on. Well, looks like that's my cue. See ya, Spidey. Love ya. What? Call me. We continued following the lead on days 54 through 57. Domino managed to find an inn. I have a feeling someone important is in there. Let's go. We started to approach and... Wait, hold on. Domino, stop. What? What's wrong? We don't have enough body actors for you to join this one. <sighs> Whatever. Domino had to go do her own thing or something, so I approached the inn on my own. As I entered, I found Gambit and Rogue inside. Rogue looked at me with disgust. Ugh, gross. I'm not dealing with this. Rogue went upstairs, so I went up to Gambit. Well, that was rude. Don't mind her there, Deadpool. Anyway, what can I do for you? Wait, I just remembered. You're a clone of Sinister, which is what he told me. And I looked it up on the wiki, which is totally a fine source of information. And don't let any teacher tell you otherwise, kids. What? Also, I want nothing to do with Sinister. Hey, just because you have daddy issues doesn't mean you can't help me. Daddy what? I need you to train me on how to fight against Sinister. You just suppose I can help you there? All right then, let's get started. We walked out and got to work right away. Time for a classic Bronzo training montage, complete with target practice, acrobatics, meditation. Ah, so boring and explosions. Well, the explosions weren't a part of the training, but they were fun. Finally, the training was complete. You're now ready. Man, don't leave before Rogue gets even more annoyed with me for helping you. I left just as he asked, but I knew it wouldn't be the last time I saw Gambit and Rogue. I knew because it's on the outline. I got back to the base on days 58 through 61. I feel ready to take on the world. But first, I went back to my statue and worked on making the incredibly handsome head. With that, the majority of my statue was complete. It's beautiful, but not quite finished. It still needs more details. So make sure you watch till the end to see it completed. My thoughts were interrupted by Spider-Man swinging onto my statue. Gasp! OMG, it's my second favorite person, other than myself and Wolverine. So, third actually. Hey Deadpool, I was sent by Captain America to help you, since now there's a lead on where Sinister is. Well, look who came crawling back. Ooh, 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 can I borrow a web shooter so we can get there faster? Eh, I don't know. You know what? Sure. Here you go. Oh, heck yeah. <laughs> Lead the way, Spidey. We swung around looking super epic. Ow. Oh, ah, don't show that. Don't show that. We swung until we made our way to a military base. It had a huge watchtower and there were mutant freaks everywhere. Gross. These must be his experiments gone wrong. Guess we got to fight our way through. I took out my pistol and prepared myself for the fight. Where'd you get those? Oh, you don't want to know. We jumped into battle and I started blasting all the mutant freaks. Take that, you lizard creeps. With my incredible skills, oh, and I guess Spidey's too, we managed to kill them all. Easy peasy. We gotta get up to the top of that watchtower. We both looked towards the watchtower and tried to use the web shooters, but they didn't work. Aw, oh, man. Guess we gotta do it the old-fashioned way. We took the stairs up to the top, but definitely still looked cool doing it. 
On days 62 through 65, we made it to the top of the tower, where Mr. Sinister was waiting for us. This ends here and now. Whoa, that made you sound really cool. You're my second favorite person now. We charged in and started fighting. Mr. Sinister seemed strangely weak. You eat your greens today, buddy? With one final blow, Spidey and I killed Sinister. Ha <laughs> ha, too easy. Yeah, it was too easy. Just then, a portal popped up and Cable stepped out of it. Deadpool, that wasn't the real Mr. Sinister. It was just a clone. Oh, brother. This guy's got major plot armor. You gotta go try to recruit more members since you couldn't even find Psylocke. Ah, uh, fine. I then set off to ask every superhero team I could think of, starting with Marvel's first family, the Fantastic Four. Sorry, Deadpool. Doctor Doom is really keeping us busy right now. Dang it. Okay, thanks anyway. I then went and talked to Ant-Man and the Wasp. Sorry, my dude. Kang is coming, and we gotta prepare. Boo! I even went to space to talk to the Guardians of the Galaxy. Sorry, dead guy. We gotta fight Adam Warlock right now. Everyone's busy! Good luck. Whatever. I then asked the last people I could think of. So what do you say, guys? Help a brother out? No. 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 I wasn't having any luck, and this whole adventure was feeling pretty hopeless. This is hopeless! I only have 35 days before the video ends. And don't even think about skipping to the end. I spent days 66 to 70 traveling until I stumbled upon a house in the middle of nowhere. Hmm, I wonder what's in here. I opened the door to see a bunch of people enjoying themselves in a bar. Wow, it's like one of those fantasy taverns that you see in D&D campaigns. I walked forward, finally making my way to the counter where a worker waited behind it for me. Hey guy, give me something that's gonna knock me out, would ya? Something that you'd give to a recently divorced dad. Oh, you mean like a potion of blindness? Yeah, sure, whatever. Give me one of those. He filled up the bottle and handed it over. What brings you into town, eh? Well, where do I start? And now, no one wants to join my team. I mean, how are you supposed to fight bad guys without a superhero team? Really? That's so? Hey, you wouldn't happen to have a secret arsenal of weapons for sale, would ya? Matter of fact, I do. Follow me. I followed him upstairs, and before me was a massive armory. It was filled to the brim with all kinds of guns, bombs, swords, you name it. This? This is heaven. I was like a little kid in a candy store. I'll take one of everything. No, I'll take it all. Day 71 through 74 with my new toys were the best. I was blowing things up left and right with my beautiful boom booms. Ha <laughs> ha This is awesome. Oh wait, what was I supposed to be doing again? Oh right. I gotta stop Sinister. Man, I should really check up on everyone. I made it back and went and found Bob. Bobby boy, how have things been going? Actually, not too great. Basically, everyone is losing hope and Sinister hasn't stopped at all. What? No, no, I'm Deadpool. Things should be going great for me right now. What should we do? I know exactly who would know what to do in my situation. BRB. I made my way through the wilderness until I found a dirt house and went to knock on the door. Alex, did you finally accept my... Wait, you're not Alex. Just the guy I was looking for. Uh, who are you? Look, Steve, I'm not the best at Minecraft, but I know you're like a legend. So, do you think you can teach me your ways? I, I don't even... Hold on. You're some kind of new hostile Minecraft mob trying to trick me, aren't you? What? No! <laughs> you're not fooling me. Steve wasn't listening and started attacking me with a diamond sword. Hey, stop! Whoa there! Down, Steve! Bad Steve! I was in a complete depressive spiral from day 75 to 78. Well, that was a total failure. That's because your life is a failure. Wait, that's it. Psylocke still needs help. Cut to... I hate to say it, but I do need your help. Wow, really? Well, I can't find Cable or Domino. I told her I would be happy to help, as long as she helped out against Mr. Sinister in return. Deal. I'm ready to teleport to Magneto's base when you are. Yeah, about that. Hmm? I don't know how to break this to you, but, well, I'll just go out and say it. I kind of threw the teleportation device away. What? Why? Why would you do that? Because it makes for lazy writing. You are beyond useless. I, I can't believe you. Psylocke, wait. We may not be able to do lazy writing right now, but we can do lazy editing. <sighs> I'm not sure I follow. Go ahead. Do the cut. 
Great, now that we skipped all the boring stuff between days 79 and 82, we arrived at Magneto's base of operations. That was easy, eh, Psylocke? I have absolutely no idea how I got here, but as long as it worked, that's all that matters. Just then, Magneto emerged from his dwelling to taunt us. There is nothing you can do, Psylocke. My plan is already in motion. What plan might that be, old man? I will turn everyone into mutants. Soon, my brothers and sisters will never have to suffer in a world that sees them as lesser. Hey, that's exactly what Mr. Sinister is going to do. Y'all should team up. Deadpool, don't give him any ideas. Right, I mean, don't do that. <laughs> Surely you jest. I would never work with such a low life. Well, if you teamed up with me and stopped Mr. Sinister, we would both benefit. I'd finish my mission, and you wouldn't have any competition or anything stealing your thunder. What do you say? You know, now that you mention it, that might not be such a bad idea. Really? You think so? Just then, Psylocke appeared behind Magneto, landing a critical hit and knocking him out. That should do it. Thanks for distracting him for me, Deadpool. Good plan. I don't know. I think getting him to help us would have been an even better plan. Then consider us even. You did ruin my first fight with him after all. What? But you promised you'd help with Mr. Sinister. Oh, did I? Hmm. Well, would you look at the time? I have to order my cat for the laundry in the oven or uh, just do literally anything else. Okay, thanks. Bye. And just like that, Psylocke left. Hey, hey, you know you weren't even wearing a watch. Days 83 through 86 were spent finishing up the final details of the statue, and it looked great! Let me know what you think of it down in the comments below. Over the horizon, I saw a mysterious figure. It was Gambit! Yo, Gambit! Over here! Do you like my statue? Hey, yeah, it's nice of bone, but I got more important issues at hand. What do you mean by that? Rogue's been kidnapped by Killbrew. Gonna use her DNA to make more clones, but I can't stop him alone. Say no more, chum. Let's ride! So, uh, where's your car? Oh, I don't have one of those. I just thought it sounded cool, so I said it. Now, let's ride! We've traveled far through the mountains, and now there's Lord of the Rings sounding music, but we had to use knockoff music because we couldn't get the rights. Finally, we made it to a large facility where they were probably keeping Rogue. She must be in there. Allons-y. For sure. Let's ride! Can you please stop saying that? But it's so fun! See if you play, you're giving me a headache. Okay, let's ride. From days 87 through 90, I found an entrapped rogue. Shoot, what's the plan? I got malice. She's getting away. Don't get possessed by her. I'm a clone of Sinister. Her powers won't work on me. Be careful. I guess it's just me and you, big guy. <laughs> Rematch time. Netflix, I mean, Blockbuster came prepared this time. He seemed bulletproof and also had quite a punch. He had a ground pound ability and he seemed to be bulletproof. So you want to play dirty, huh? I got more up my sleeves. Shut up and fight. Luckily, my regeneration came in clutch because the big dude was hitting hard. <sighs> hold on, hold on. Time out. Yeah, time out. You idiot! You fell for the oldest trick in the book! Hiya! <laughs> Gambit! I ran off to go find Gambit. On days 91 through 93, I made it to where Malice and Gambit had gone. Gambit was sitting on the floor, mumbling to himself. Shit, but why the choo choo scary? Yikes, he's got it bad. Guess he could have been possessed by me. My mind is definitely stronger. You can't possess me. Actually, I would never possess your mind. It's way too crazy. I have a better way to get rid of you. Malice pulled out a vial from her inventory. See this? This will take away your regeneration. No thanks. I quickly shot the vial, making her drop it. I then ran forward to take it from her, but she pushed me out of the way. Oh no, I'm not letting you go that easily. Dang, wish my ex was that adamant. Shut up. I fought hard, but she was strong, and I ended up falling on the ground next to the vial. I was about to quickly grab it, but she picked it up before I could. Uh-oh. <laughs> I'm glad I'm lucky enough to be the one who finally kills you. A lot of people are going to be mad at you for that one. There's a ton of people that want the pleasure of killing me. Shut up and die, you creep. She threw the potion at me, and I started feeling weird. Ugh, I don't feel so good. Malice then pulled out a gun and aimed it at me. Good riddance. She pulled the trigger and my vision faded to black as I actually died. 
Between days 94 and 96, I woke up in a strange dimension. Everything around me was red. Huh? Is this what dying in hardcore Minecraft is like? I thought it would be just me spectating Wolvie forever. Like a shirtless Patrick Swayze in Ghost. You kids are probably too young to know what that is. Go show your parents this. They'll think it's hilarious. A shadowy figure emerged from the darkness. Why don't you stop thinking about Wolverine and focus on me? Hubba hubba. Boy, am I happy to see you here. Death and I frolicked through a field of flowers for hours on end. Then we had a cute little picnic as we ate apples until our tummies felt full. Finally, we ended the day with a little campfire while holding hands. Ah, <sighs> this is just perfect. Then I started to feel funny, like I was beginning to wake up, and then a distant voice rang in my ears. Deadpool, wake up. We need you. Wake up, Deadpool. Apparently, we need you. No! I don't want to go, Mr. Stark. It seems that our time together is up. Go, Deadpool. You have a universe to save. Okay, this definitely feels like cheating. From days 97 and 98, I awoke to Cable and Domino hovering over me. Oh man, I failed the hardcore challenge. You guys didn't see anything. Leave a comment down below saying, OMG, wow. I can't believe he did the impossible in this video. Enough of your nonsense. Time is of the essence and Mr. Sinister is about to execute his final plan. Oh, oh I didn't get that far into the outline. Hold on. Hmm, okay, I see now. He is about to fire a beam into the sky, making all villagers and humans on this planet mutants. Hold up, does that mean I get super super powers? Deadpool! Oh right, sorry. I guess this is the part when I go off to find his final base. As I traveled, I felt like something was missing. Ugh, this is boring. Can we get some zombies in here? It worked. The riders actually gave me some zombies to fight. Woohoo! Look out for this bomb, you dumb zombies. Bullet time! Yeah! Awesome. Hey, riders, can I get some hot babes in here now? Really? Nothing? Whatever. On day 99, I made it to the outside of Mr. Sinister's base. Okay, okay, I know what you guys are thinking. Deadpool, how are you gonna infiltrate the base, take on multiple supervillains, and stop Mr. Sinister in time? Well, I've got just one thing to say to all those people. Plot armor. The cool montage began. I was fighting the villains one by one. First up was Vertigo. She bested me last time, but I came prepared this time around. I was able to defeat her because she wasn't even able to make me dizzy this time. Eon. Sabretooth then came at me like a fierce kitten. I had a simple solution for him. Rocket launcher. Ooh, sorry about that. Finally, Sinister's main henchman, Malice. Her powers are that she possesses people, but she can't possess me, and she was all out of vials. However, Malice got some decent punches on me, but I'm Deadpool, so I kicked her apples. See guys, it's that easy. Just play some cool DMCA compliant music and start blasting. Hey, now before I go in there and kill Mr. Sinister, could you do me a solid? great. If you made it this far, do you think you could like the video, subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell so you never miss any new videos? Did you do it? Because I'm not going in there unless you do it. All right, I don't have time to wait. Let's do this. On day 100, I made it to the final boss room in Mr. Sinister's base. He was already fighting Captain America. Oh, so now you want to help. Captain America, folks. Be quiet. When he wasn't looking, Mr. Sinister knocked out Cap and he pulled out a vial to take some of his DNA. Oopsies, you don't want to do that, Sinister. I'm warning you. Well, I'm going to do it anyway, because I'm evil. Perhaps you should say, Sinister? What? No, why would I do that? That sounds stupid. With this, I can now combine human DNA with mutant DNA and spread it around the world. Whoever isn't strong enough to survive the transformation will die. Not if I can stop it. Sinister would shoot energy blasts at me. I swung my katanas at him, but it didn't even phase him. He would also use an Enderman soul hand to pick up blocks and toss them at me. Ow, that one hurt. It was a tough battle, but I kept going. You're at the end of your rope, Deadpool. Face it, I won. 
A Bronzo video hasn't ended with me dying in a long time, and I'm not about to go back to doing that. Not today! What? With Sinister dazed and confused, I had an opening to blast his contraption with my rocket launcher! No! You fool! What have you done? Hasta la vista, baby! And when the smoke cleared, Mr. Sinister was no more! Deadpool! Wait, that's not it. Bronzo! Much better.